Um, I'm going to do a couple of spoken word pieces before um, Norman comes on. The first one I'm going to do is entitled The Cradle of Civilization. So lend me your ears. This is for Baghdad, the place of my mother's birth. The cradle of civilization for what it's worth. The land I've never seen, the culture I've never known. Iraq is in my heart, my blood, my flesh and bones. The air I've never breathed, the fragrance I've never smelt, the pride I've never had, the nationality that I've never felt. Saddam was bad, but the occupiers even more so. They made me grow like I was missing part of my torso. But I never picked up a grenade in my garden. I never saw people I love die starving. I never saw my family die through many years of sanctions, while the ruler's family lived in palaces and mansions. I never had a family member kidnapped for a ransom and never lost a friend to violence that was random. Bombings, occupation, torture, intimidation, a million dead people does an equal liberation. Forget division based on ethnicity or religion. Whether you're Sunni, Shia, Kurdish or Christian, pain is just pain if you're a person that's missing. We all deserve a life in this earth that we live in. Is there enough words that can say how deeply Baghdad is burning today? And it's not about pity, hands out or sympathy. It's about pride, respect, honor and dignity. Babies being born with deformities from uranium. Those babies aren't just Iraqi, they're Mesopotamian. And what I view on the news is making me shiver because I look at the victims and see the same face in the mirror. This system of division makes it harder for you and me. Peace is a question, the only answer is unity. So many dreams about this place that I've never seen, this place my family had to leave in the 70s. It rains white phosphorus in Fallujah. This is for those that won't live to see the future. I'm sorry that I wasn't there, and sorry that I couldn't help. I'm sorry for every tear, and sorry you've been put through hell. Still I feel like an immigrant, an Englishman amongst Arabs, and an Arab amongst Englishmen. Like I said, they never gave me the culture, but they did give me covered halab, hakaka, and dolma. Still I wrecked till my death, till they kill and seal my flesh from now, all the way back to Gilgamesh. Such a villainized and criticized nation, you will always be the cradle of civilization. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I'm going to do one last one, which is entitled Long Live Palestine. And um, I would just like to say um, I'm happy and ecstatic, maybe, is a better word to use, to see that the sticks that they have used to beat us for years have broken. The words they use to charge people who dare to speak out against this powerful, powerful, powerful machine that is at work to dehumanize human beings, the words which they use to demonize us, they're breaking. They're meaningless. You no longer have the monopoly on information. People know the truth. And human beings are human beings. That's the bottom line. No amount of propaganda can hide the humanity of the people on the receiving ends of our taxes. So, yeah, this is Long Live Palestine. While we listen to tunes made by ignorant fools, Israel blocked the UN from delivering food. They bring in the troops, and you won't even glimpse of the news. They make money off the products that we are quick to consume. And this is not simply a question of different views. Forget emotions, this is facts. What I spit is the truth. It makes no difference if you're a Christian or if you're a Jew. They're just people living in different conditions to you. But they die when you bomb their schools, mosques and hospitals, and it's not because of rockets. Please God, can you stop this fool? I'm not related to the strangers on the TV, but I relate because those faces could have been me. Words could never ever explain the raw tragedy. 
This is not a war. They're just murdering more rapidly. And we are automatically supporting pure savagery. Imagine how you'd feel if that was your family. This is not just a war over stolen land. Why do you think there's little boys throwing stones at tanks? And we'll never really know how many people are dead. They drop bombs on little girls while they sleep in their bed. And don't get offended by facts, just try and listen. Nothing is more anti-Semitic than Zionism. So please don't bring bad vibes. So please don't bring bad vibes when you speak to me, because there's plenty of rabbis that agree with me. It's your choice when you do with this message. Don't get confused. I view this from a human perspective. How many more resolutions have to be violated? How many more children have to be annihilated? Israel was a terrorist, terror state. Terrorists that terrorize. I testify my television, televising, telling lies. This is not a war, it's like systematic genocide. But whatever they try, Palestine will never die. Thank you very much.